every year I make a video where I go over my yearly earnings in stock photography and I compare it to the previous year just to get a sense of where I'm at and uh, I think this is interesting for you guys just because uh, maybe it'll encourage you to keep going maybe it'll encourage you to quit uh, who knows but before I get into it uh, quite frankly I'm gonna say that this is the year of artificial intelligence images for me getting into that and then also actually getting into drone photography in a more serious way or drone uh, videography and photography both in a more serious way so I'm curious to see what that will do for my overall earnings because uh, 2023 I spent a lot of time at that stuff so uh, let's just jump right into it and see how things went for me and I'm gonna start at the lowest and I'm gonna proceed to the highest earning site so um, so stay tuned to the end so I'm gonna start with Archangel uh, my book cover photography site in 2022 I earned 600 at Archangel uh, in 2023 I earned nothing and so a net difference of minus $600 uh, I don't sell much there so there's always a huge variance and uh, very little way to compare results it's just either you know you hit something or you didn't on that site so that's just the way it goes uh, the next site that I'm going to bring up is Canstock uh, I had made $39 in 2022 but I made $3.50 in 2023. Now that was an abbreviated year because Canstock has shut down. I was making no money and I was never surprised that that was what, what happened. Regardless, in 2023, I made $32.50 less in the year than the year previously on Canstock. So Canstock disappears and sails into history. Next site that I'm going to talk about is uh, 123RF, another site in decline. Uh, at least they look like they're trying to stay alive, but um, you know, it seems like there's not much there, um, not much life anyway. So in 2022, I earned $76.03, but in 2023, I earned only $51.37. So that was a difference of $24.66. So. Uh, declined by 33% basically. Uh, I think I did upload some stuff there, so um, even worse actually. The next site I'm gonna talk about is photo for me Now this is a print on demand site. In 2022, I earned $21.50. But in 2023, I earned $64.50. And so that was a difference of plus $43 over the course of the year. So a uh, positive trend on photo for me it's a print-on-demand site, and it's probably something that I should focus on a little bit more seriously. Big Stock is the next site. Uh, 2022, I made $97.05, and in 2023, I made $72.06. So a decline of $24.99, almost um, $25. So basically a 25% decline year over year. Uh, Big Stock is also on the way out, I think, my guess. Um, they shut down uploading in July, so hadn't uploaded since then, uh, like all of you as well. So uh, that's Big Stock. On Wire Stock, 2022 was basically my first real year there. I made uh, $62.73 in the first year. And uh, in 2023, I made $154.21. So there was a plus $91.48 difference. Uh, don't want to get into here, but as we know, they or they switched to a subscription model, stopped uploading. Uh, don't know how next year will be with Wirestock, uh, given those changes. But um, that's what happened for me in the year. Deposit photos now. So in 2022, I earned $222.03. Uh, in 2023, I earned only $209.52. So a $12.51 decline, and that despite uploading a lot of images. So um, yeah, on these smaller sites, I, I think the, the trend is, is down, uh, regardless of what you're doing for uploading. Uh, and you might be going up, but it's probably not up as, as much as you should be actually. Uh, so those sites are really, they were never um, super material and never really super high earners, but they're becoming even less so year over year. Let's go to the next site, which is Dreams Time. I earned uh, $401.69 in 2022, 
in 2022. And in 2023, I earned $440.80. So that's a difference of plus $39.11. So uploaded a lot on Dreamtime as well, but I only managed to increase my annual revenue from that site for uh, about $40. So um, considering what the time effort was, uh, not a lot of increase there at all. Uh, but an increase, not a decrease, so <laughs> thinking positive here. Um, pawn 5. Uh, in 2022, I earned $281.16. And uh, 2022 was also really the first year I, I tried to really push Pawn 5, that put some effort in. Uh, in 2023, I continued with that effort, uh, and I earned $457.88. So that was a difference of plus $176.72. So... There was an increase there, and that was good. This year started off really slow so far, but um, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, 2024 looks better on Pond5 as well. Alamy is the next site that I contribute to. Uh, in 2022, I earned uh, $280 uh, net, not gross. Uh, and in 2023, I netted uh, $880.38. So that's a 600 dollar jump six hundred dollars and 38 cents to be exact a really big jump um it's not a huge dollar amount but basically really uh really jumped up my overall sales so hope to duplicate what i did in 2023 next year or even go higher so and that would be great but it's nice to see some sites uh do respond to the work and you can get uh better better results better revenue from them Next site is iStock Getty. In 2022, I earned $796.30. And in 2023, I earned $1,186.92. And that's a $390.62 difference. So uh, almost a $400 jump. I really sort of attribute that to drone footage, actually. Um, uploading drone footage consistently and uh, probably actually had a decrease in value of my image sales. So the, the uh, uptick is probably even greater than uh, apparent with video uh, and specifically drone sales. So, so that was great to see an increase on iStock as well. Shutterstock, 2022, I earned $1,833.60. And in 2023, I earned 2,359 cents. So that was a difference of plus $469, or sorry, that was a difference of plus $466.99. So almost $500 difference. Again, I think a lot of that relates to uh, video content. Um, not all drone, but in uh, last year, I put up a lot more video content than I ever had before. I was almost always a image only contributor. 2023, I tried to fix that, and um, I've seen a bump uh, as a result. The final site that I'm going to talk about is Adobe Stock. Uh, Adobe Stock is the, the basically the AI and video site for me. But in 2022, I earned $2,013.12, and uh, for a total of 20, or for the total of 2022, obviously. But in 2023, I earned $5,331.90. So that was a difference of $3,318.78. So more than doubled uh, from the year prior. That $5,330 is actually about 33% of the revenue I've ever got on Adobe stock. And I've been on Adobe stock for a long time. So it was by far my best year. And 100%, you know, I sold a lot more than just AI. But that AI, and then also getting a little bit more into video, uh, really changed the tra trajectory last year. And um, that 3,000 plus difference is really, I think, about AI and really about video. Uh, and um, obviously, I'm still selling a lot of images on that site, but... Um, as time progresses, you know, the revenue for the image stream versus the video stream versus the AI image stream uh, has, is really starting to, to change. So keep an eye on that in 2024. So how did I do total? 
In 2022, I earned $6,126.50. And in 2023, I earned $11,153.63 for a $5,027 difference, I almost hit an average of $1,000 a month for the year, which is fantastic because my aim coming in was $600 a month for the year. So coming in hoping to make $6,000 in the year came out just under $12,000. Uh, and that, I didn't write this down, but in fact, I did um, have a lead through Shutterstock um, to a local film company who bought a bunch of time lapse from me where I made another uh, 2000 plus. So, uh, you know, I actually was up around 14,000 in uh, 2023 from this side hustle and uh, super happy with that. And um, I'm hoping that this quick video is, if anything, it encourages you to, um, if you wanna do it, to just do it and not to quit because you know you if you if you if you start if you quit on that dip before you start getting uh more revenue then then it's it's too bad and uh the other thing i should say is you have to upload um it's just the way it works so uh it's it's an uploading game and that's that's all you can do to make money and if you stop it it the revenue declines it's just that's how it is Anyway, I hope you guys all, and I really mean this, I hope you guys all have a great 2024. I uh, hope you get out there and make a ton of images, a ton of images you love and uh, images that other people love and that you can sell and turn into a little bit of extra income, a little side hustle money. And um, looking forward to 2024. So uh, stick with me. Um, I got a lot of random stuff on my channel. I break all the rules with YouTube because I don't care. <laughs> I just have fun doing this. So subscribe if you want to, uh, like this video if you feel so inclined and we'll, uh, we'll uh, see you this year. Take care.